Um, he just basically told us that we weren't really playing with a lot of energy on defense. We were kind of being a little bit lackadaisical. So um, we just tried to regroup and come back out in the second half and play a lot harder and compete and bring more energy. Uh, for Brianna, uh, you know, I think there's a point where you're, you're talking to Sasha Palmer on the sideline. She's showing you like the your hand slings. You know, what were you talking about and how did that kind of help you as a game went along? Well, um, at first, like they were catching the ball and just backing me down. And I struggle with that sometimes because of my body size. So at the end, coach was just telling me to get in front of them and like play like that. So I think that helped me a lot. And, and not being in foul trouble, you know, being able to play 40 minutes, uh, you know, how big was that for you? And you know, what was the mindset, you know, not having that? It was great. It felt good not to foul because I knew my team needed me. So I had to have that mentality going into this game. Brianna, can you just talk about the defensive effort? You know, to hold a team to 13 points in the second half, you know, what was working for you guys in the second? We were just playing with a sense of urgency and effort. We were just playing together and playing really hard. And I think that when you do all of that, then we're pretty hard to beat. So I think that's what was going good for us. What was happening in the first half? You know, how do you kind of contrast you know, the way you guys were playing? First we were playing, but we weren't playing as hard as we could have. And I think that's what our coach stressed us at halftime. And so we had to come out second half and just do that. We had to play hard, play with a sense of urgency and effort. Did you guys that halftime you know, talk was very like urgent was it was it loud it sounds like the uh coach mcconnell said that she could kind of hear from her locker yeah it was <laughs> <laughs> what's going through a player's mind when the coach is going off like that in the locker room well he's right like we have to do those things to win games we can't slack off so i mean you can't say anything but just be like you're you're right you know that's what it was does playing a scrappy team like pittsburgh help you down the road when you go to the acc tournament and NCAA tournament playing some tougher competition that you've already seen this year? This for me. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, I would say so. Um, we played Pitt close these last two games that we played them, um, and that's what we're going to expect in, a, in the NCAA tournament as well as the ACC tournament. It's only going to get harder from here. Each team is playing for something, so um, we have to continue to play with the same sense of urgency moving forward. Brianna, how have you been able to get it going in the last couple of games now? Um... I guess more so when you start making shots, it gets your confidence up, and then once you're seeing the ball go into the basket, it's almost a good feeling, and then should you feel more confident when you shoot the ball for the next times. Coach Key said, that, you know, if you lose this game, you're an NIT team. If you win, you know, an NCAA tournament team. Is that kind of going through your head a little bit, just the, you know, the implications of a game like this and what it can mean just for the way you guys kind of view yourselves as a team? Um, I definitely think it's big for us. Um, Obviously, being in the NCAA tournament the last two years, it's big for us to continue this new tradition, and it's good for our program, good for the university, and good for our team as well. Brianna, that you came a little bit short of uh, 20, 20 you know, points and rebounds. Does it feel like you're playing your best basketball right now because the stat line was pretty good? Um, I don't think I'm playing my best, but uh, I think I'm pre playing pretty well, um, just playing hard and doing what I can to help my team. So. That's a lot I can work on, though, and play harder. And one of the centers on Pitt uh, is a lot bigger than you. You know, how do you go about defending a player that has a few, a few more pounds than you? I'm just as big as they are in my heart, <laughs> and they have to play like that, honestly, because it's, it's a mental thing. Like, if you say, oh, oh I know they're bigger than me, you're going to play like you're smaller. So I have to play from my heart. <laughs> and I saw you really going – in the press defense a lot, you had a steal or two at midcourt. Did Coach Q say something to you? Because it's not often that you see a center uh, doing the full court press like you did. No, uh, he didn't say anything to me. I just knew we just had to play hard. And, like, I didn't know I could get it, so I got it. And, like, that's what happened. Like, I just went after it. You had that steal, I think. And they called you for a travel, you know. You just want to finish on that one? Yeah, I mean, you know, I was in my, I was predicting my move before I did it. I just should have went up. So that was a problem. I mean, you know, it happens. Is there, is there a point when you have having a game in 15 and 18, is there ever a point where you're like, dang, like, I'm playing pretty good? <laughs> um, I was, I don't know, honestly. I mean, I would hope I'm trying to play good every game, but, like, when stuff happens like that, I'm just like, wow, I did play pretty good. But, you know, <laughs> it's okay. Really. Anything else, guys? All right.
Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.